So if you just sort of relax with your eyes closed, I'm going to take you through, to me, what is the most important relationship in creation, and that's between the conscious and subconscious, or what I'm going to call between the mother and child. The mother being the conscious mind who has choice. It can either care for the child or ignore it. So let's, let's suppose for now we move the terminology where the conscious mind is really the mother aspect of creation. And the subconscious is the child. And it's the child who has all of the memory since creation and its burden. Burden. So if you have depression, it's the information in the child that's, that's experiencing the depression. So we want this relationship to work. So the first thing what you want to do is you want to do this really slowly. And the first thing you want to do is you want to say to this child, Oh, for the first time in creation, I'm, I am acknowledging your presence in me. So that's the first thing you, you, it's important to do, is to acknowledge that you are aware that there is this being in you called the ch inner child. And you're talking to this inner child. You say, oh, wow. This is the first time that I'm aware that you are part of me. And then the, the next thing you want to say to it is something very simple. I love you. I love you. And then you acknowledge the fact that all of the hurts and pains are data kept in this child, and you say to this child very simply, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for all the accumulated memories that you experience as sorrow, as grieving, as pain. So you're talking to this child, acknowledging your responsibility that all of the woes that the child has that you have created, accepted, and accumulated, and that you would like to have it undone. So one of the processes, very simple to do, is you must always ask the child for permission. You must never do to the child without watch, asking for permission. So. This is what you want to do. You want to say to the child, please, please allow me to stroke the top of your head with love and concern. Just talk. Please allow me to do this. And just do it then. Don't have to imagine anything. Just do it. So see yourself just stroking the top of the head of the child. And as you're stroking the top of the head of the child, you're saying to the child, I love you. Please forgive me for all of the accumulated woes that you now have stored in you. I am sorry. And I'm stepping back. This is the most important relationship because you can teach this child how to do the cleaning. And so you can put this child on automatic, but if you have not been acknowledging this child or really caring for it, it won't do it. So as you're stroking its head, I love you. Thank you for being part of me. And I'm sorry if I have been neglectful, if I'm not taking good care of you, if I have manipulated you, I'm sorry. And then you kind of take an inventory. You talk to the child where all the memories replay the problem. And you say to the child, if you don't mind, help me to let go. So you start at the top of your head, if you have any headaches, 
any back pain, you walk, you walk, you work down your body, you take an inventory, and you say to the child, oh, this is, I'm experiencing this headache, please let go of the memories that are replaying this. I don't know what the memories are, I don't want to know what the memories are, but you know. And then we can offer it to the divinity through the superconscious. We can ask the divinity to set it free. So yeah, while you're doing this, you're stroking the head very gently. So now you're going to ask the child permission to hug it gently. Not bear hug. Bear hug frightens the child. So you're saying to the child, please allow me to hug you very gently. And when you do it, just do it. You don't have to imagine. I just hug the child gently. And you cradle the child in your arms and you talk to it. Thank you for being part of me. I love you. And I'm sorry for all the accumulated memories that you experience as pain and suffering. Please, please forgive me. And after you're done with that, you ask the child to give you its hand. Please give me your hand so that I can grasp it gently, gently stroking it. Whatever hand you want to give to me, please give it to me. So in your mind, you reach for the hand, you grasp it gently, gently stroking it. And again, you, you acknowledge that the child is part of you. Ah, thank you for being part of me. A part of me I've not paid very much attention to, and I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. I love you. Then you might want to take another inventory. You might want to take it financially. And you say to the child, okay, it's just the memories that are the problem. So I'm asking you to let go. Please let go. And then you take an inventory. Whatever financial things that you're going through, any tax audits, you, you want to work on that. Anything that, that to do with the foreclosure of the home or anything, you're talking because the problem is not the foreclosure. The problem is not the finance. It's the memories replaying the woes. It's the mortgage on your soul, and you want this child who holds the mortgage to let it go. Please let go. Oh, we're having, we are overdrawn in the bank, or, or we have, we have been abusive to money. Whatever memories we have that we have been abusive to money, abusive to finance, abusive to the land. Please let go. And then you ask the child permission to hold its other hand. Please allow me to hold your other hand. And then you reach mentally for the other hand, and grasp it gently, gently stroking it. I want, to, I want you to be clear, this child is where all the problems start. So you want to be on a good relationship with this child so it will let go and let go on. So as you cradle and you stroke the hand, then you look at yourself and you take an inventory of what is going on in me that I'm having these, my experience of these problems with certain people. So you bring them up in your life and you go, okay, I don't know what the problem, I don't know what the memories are, but I notice that when I hang around with it, I'm annoyed and irritable and I don't know what that's all about, but it's memories in me and so please, you're talking to this child who is a memory bank, please let go. So this is the most important, essential relationship in all of creation between the mother and child. If the mother can win the child over, she's home free. The child will help her with the cleaning, will be willing to let go, 
will be willing to intuit into her and say to her, this is coming up, we better get to it. Thank you very much. Now you want to ask the child permission to hold its shoulders. Please allow me to hold your shoulders. And so you reach for the shoulders and you begin the dialogue again. This dialogue about love, acknowledging the presence of the child. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of me. I'm really grateful to know that there is you and me that I have not been caring for since the beginning of time. Please forgive me for ignoring you, not caring for you, causing you great harm and pain and sorrow. I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you for being part of me. And then you reach for its shoulders. And then you say to it, please allow me to hold your shoulders and give you unlimited love. Again, if you're looking for a business partner, this relationship with the child is the best business partner in creation. If the relationship between the mother and child works, it will work along for everything. So you're holding a shoulder and then you're looking into its eyes and you're festing up. I've ignored you. I've caused you pain and sorrow. I am sorry. Please, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you for being willing to let go so that you and I can be memory free. That you and I can walk hand in hand with the divinity and the Alma Kua into the light. <coughs> so you can do this in the morning. You can do this in the evening. You can take a few minutes out of your busy schedule to get to get reconnected, relined up. And, and if you're willing to do this, then the inner child will be part will be a partner. So now I would like for you we're gonna do the seven rounds of the breathing. And so both feet on the floor, your your thumb and your forefinger touching. Both hands on the on the on your knees or on your in your lap and um, do the breathing. And the breathing is a cleaning process the child will, enjoy, will appreciate. So one round is breathing. You breathe in for a count of seven. You hold for a count of seven. You exhale for a count of seven, and you hold for a count of seven. And you breathe seven rounds, please. Thank you very much.
So, what's the problem? It's a memory replay. Again, what Shakespeare calls four bemoan moan. You've had it before, and since you didn't get it the last time, now you're getting another crack at it. And what? How do you? How do you have it erased? Well, you make an appeal to the divinity in you, who has this ability to take the memory and transform it, purify it, release it, and then turn it into nothing and then to replace that nothing with inspiration.